Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get your Harley Petcock from Amazon or eBay to stop leaking. I, like many people, bought this off of Amazon, hoping it would be a cheap $20 fix to replace my stock Petcock and also get rid of the vacuum line that is traditionally needed. So today I'm going to break down all the reasons why these leak and how to fix them. So the tools that are going to be required are a Phillips screwdriver, um, a type of sealant, either seal all or permatex gray i prefer the permatex gray it's fuel resistant uh ethanol resistant mainly which ends up killing a lot of the other sealants and um also you're gonna need a assortment of o-rings either from harbor freight or your local hardware store and i'll break down why you need everything and how to install everything right now all right so there was two main problems that i saw on the reviews when it came to this amazon or ebay petcock the first one was A, it was leaking out of the face right here, where this knob turns uh, to turn your fuel on or off. Or B, the second issue was that it was leaking out of the threads down here below the nut, or above the nut. Um, either way, it was leaking out of the threads right here. So I'm going to break down both of the issues and how to fix them now. So the first thing we're going to do, if, you, if yours is leaking from the face right here, we're going to go ahead and pop these two Phillips screws off, and I'll break down why it's leaking and how to fix it. All right, so now that I got these two screws loose, loose. <laughs> now that I got these two screws loose, we're gonna pop them off, and then we're gonna pop this front face off. And there's gonna be several components. There's gonna be this wavy spring that's gonna come out just like so. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But there's a slight wave in it. We're gonna pop that off, and now you're actually gonna pop out. Um, there's also an O-ring. We're gonna pop that out. That'll just come off with it. We can leave that on, it's fine. But um, So the main reason the front right here leaks is because there's actually a rip in the seal. And if you look at this one closely, it's hard to tell, but there's some fraying in the seal. I think right there the light, the lighting picks it up. So what, I had, what I've done before is actually just flip this seal around. For some reason when they installed it, um, they installed it incorrectly, they didn't use enough lube or... Uh, I'm really not sure the exact reason, but... Either way, there's a rip in the seal in the face, and that'll cause it to leak right off of the bat. And um, that's actually what's happening when it's leaking out of the face is there's a slight tear in the seal, and the fuel's leaking past that. So I'm going to pop this O-ring out and see if the other side of it is okay, and we can just flip it around. So now that I got this front seal out, you can see that the middle of it is ever so slightly ripped. It's hard to tell, but between the two hoops on the, on the right side here, you can see a line just going right through it. But if we look on the back side, the back side, the back side's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is actually just flip this seal around and install it right back in. Now, if you pull your, if you pull this ring off and you realize that both sides of it are ripped, uh, you're probably gonna have to go ahead and just order a whole new petcock, return the one you have, and hope the next one that comes in doesn't have a rip, or see if you can go online and find some type of replacement uh, rebuild kit for this, but um, I've gotten lucky with the several that I bought and had a problem where it was ripped on one side where I was just able to flip it around and install it right back in, put everything back together just as it was, and it stopped leaking from the face. So I hope you guys have, a, have the right luck and that works out well for you. But I'm going to go ahead and just pop this back in. Now that that's popped in, we're going to go ahead and just install everything just the way it was. Uh, while it's apart, it'd be a good idea to put some lube on here, whether it's WD-40 or oil or any kind of lubricant, just, to, uh, just so you don't rip the seal like they did from the factory and run into the same problem. Because obviously if you rip this side of the seal, then you're going to have a bad day. So we're just going to go ahead and pop this down, face the petcock down because we can't go wrong with that direction. That's one of the factory... Okay, now that we got that in, make sure that the seal is on this uh, lever right here. Now we're going to pop our wave spring back in. You can see that. Put that over. And then we're just going to go ahead and put our face on. Okay, now we'll just pop these two screws in. And we'll be back in business. Another thing to check for is, uh, I noticed on this one that these two screws were actually loose. So that could be another reason why 
yours isn't working, I wouldn't go too crazy tightening them, but you know, if you get on it with the screwdriver and you realize right away that it's looser than it should be, then go ahead and just snug that up and see if that fixes your problem. If not, you have to do like we just said and uh, flip that seal around. So the next thing we're going to address is why does it leak out of these threads right here? So what we're going to do is actually unscrew this large nut right here. And when you do that, this whole screen assembly will come off. And I'm going to show you guys why it actually ends up leaking. So now that we got it all apart, um, one of the main problems with this setup is this flat O-ring washer right here is actually too big. And you can see once we get it over the petcock here, that it's actually larger than the threads. You can see it right there. So the problem is, once you get this all tightened down, this O-ring will never sit correctly flush. Um, because of what we just mentioned, it's just too large for the setup. So, um, this is where we go over to the Harbor Freight O-rings, and we end up replacing this with a Harbor Freight O-ring. What this O-ring does is this seals the bottom of the petcock here to your gas tank. So when you tighten, when you tighten the nut here down onto the petcock and then tighten the petcock up onto your tank, um, this O-ring is what's sealing the tank and the petcock together. And obviously since it's not a correct fit and it hangs over the side, um, it gets messed up in the threads right here and it just ends up not sealing correctly. So what, what I do is I end up actually ditching the screen altogether. Um, I was never able to get it to work with the screen, but my trick to doing this, I'm going to show you what I, what I do right now. So what I do is this is where the sealant comes in. I'm going to put my phone right here. I'm going to take sealant. So I'm going to take sealant and put it around these threads right here. It'd be a good idea to hit this with brake clean and also hit the inside of the nut threads with brake clean just to make sure that the sealant gets a correct... Uh, adheres to the metal correctly, especially on this chrome. Chrome is like one of the hardest things to seal. So now we got a good layer on the threads here. If my camera would focus in. Okay, so now that we got our sealant on there, I went ahead and just bottomed out this nut all the way, and I even uh, hit it with an adjustable wrench and just really snug down on this nut and make sure that it's uh, make sure that it's just bottomed all the way out. One of the main problems with the setup and why it leaks out of the threads is uh, this nut just actually isn't it, it isn't interfacing with the threads good enough on the petcock body here, and that's one of the main reasons it leaks. So now that I put sealant on it and tightened it all the way down, there's a good interface fit between uh, the nut right here and the petcock body. It can be a little bit messy, but now that we got it all bottomed out, good layer of sealant on there all the way around. This thing is about ready to go. Now what we have to do is replace the O-ring. Because you can see, this is the original flat washer O-ring right here. You can see it's just too large. Like you have to squeeze it to get it in there. And that's going to cause it to, to just not seal correctly. You won't be able to get a good interface fit between uh, the petcock here, this seal, and also your gas tank. So now... I'm going to go in my O-ring assortment, or at this time, you just go to your local hardware store and pick up the O-ring that'll fit. I think I got the correct one right here, though. It's a little large as well. Next size down. Boom, this one should be perfect. This one's still a little bit large, but not nearly as bad as the one that came on it. So, just push that down in there. And boom, this thing is ready to go. Uh, at this time, you also could put a little bit of the Permatex sealer in the O-ring area if you really like, if you want to get crazy with it. But um, I try to keep it away because all that stuff can end up in your fuel system, and that that could just wreak havoc on all your fuel lines and everything else. It's unfortunate with this setup that we have to ditch the screen, but um, the way it's set up right now, you. It, it you know it just won't leak which <laughs> which is better than having the screen on it so you know if you have a lot of crud in your tank or um, your gas tanks rusted at all you can just add an inline fuel filter but yeah at this time this thing is ready to install in our gas tank so now I'm gonna pan over to my Harley and get this installed show you guys 
All right, so now we have it installed on our bike. So all I did now is I just screwed the whole petcock body onto my gas tank right here on my Sportster. And um, when you're installing it, make sure you don't loosen it. And also, don't tighten it by the nut. You want to screw this on with the whole body. Um, but like I said, you don't want to loosen this because that's going to ruin the contact. But it's basically going to, it's going to shear the sealant that you already have set um, between the petcock and the nut right here. So you want to you want to turn this whole body. And as soon as you notice, start to tighten up. Get it in an area where you can still turn it on and off, but um, also get this body tight. That's kind of the trick with this setup, but worked flawlessly i've had no issues with it whatsoever um granted my gas tank is clean on the inside so i didn't need to add a fuel filter or uh or have the screen on the petcock but yeah this thing works flawlessly it's sealed perfect no issues maybe we could put all those bad reviews to rest now now that you modified it and did the boosted bikes mod to your harley petcock but um yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up Comment down below if you have any questions or, you know, have any concerns about the setup. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.